guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over your reading for the year 2024. Let's start off by shuffling your tarot cards. Aries, you are starting off in January with the Ten of Cups. And this is showing that you have a lot of balance moving from December into January. A very happy, stable home environment as well as your working environment. You have good balance, and you may be feeling the relief from not working so many holiday hours at this time. And that is what is refocusing your attention on the happiness and on the home life. Moving into February, you are getting the Eight of Pentacles, and you are focusing on work again, coming out of that holiday season, being recognized for your hard work. And the quality that you put into everything that you do. February may see you working hard, trying to get a pay raise in this new year, trying to change jobs, focusing more on the financial section of your life. For some of you, this Ten of Cups. This could have been someone new entering the family, a new child, your own, a brother, a sister. If this was your own, you're trying to increase your finances in preparation for this new child. I'm 
moving into March, you have the Ace of Pentacles. All that hard work that you've put in, an opportunity will present itself because of the hard work that you have done. Everyone sees your quality work. They see how much time and effort you put in. And you will be rewarded with an opportunity for more financial freedom. Moving into April, you have the Nine of Cups. This is that wish fulfilled. So whatever you're working on, launching your own business, getting a promotion, moving to a job that pays more, you're getting this wish. You are going to be very happy, very fulfilled. And this happened by your hard work, not by accident. You earned this. Moving into May. You have the Eight of Swords. There may be changes to your routine, things that you need to learn that go along with this new opportunity. And you may feel a little stuck at this time, like things are out of your control. But as you can see, you could easily walk out of these swords here by removing the blindfold. As you can see, the hands are in the front. And seeing your way out, that means that you are in control. And you have the opportunity to take. the lead and learn this new thing, understand and gain these new skills that's going to help you become just as successful as your last place that you were employed or in your last position. If you are launching a business, this is showing that there's things that you're learning on the fly as you're doing them. Trial and error. Moving into June, you have the Queen of Swords. You're going to start gaining clarity you're going to be above the clouds and gaining clarity here, enlightenment on what is working and what is not working. This could be training at your new job. This could be you learning things for a new business. But you are going to gain that clarity. And it's going to help you push forward and succeed at your goal. Moving into July, you have this Knight of Pentacles here. And with this newfound knowledge, you're going to start putting in that slow and steady work. You're going to see things start to take off and the restlessness 
and the feeling trapped and burdened that you're feeling is going to start moving to your past. You're going to see that you are in control. And you can take this opportunity as far and as wide as you want. You are going to start taking this knowledge and turning it into the foundations that you need for this success. Moving into August, you have the Four of Wands. Things are balanced once again, Aries. You're starting to see the rewards. You're getting that light at the end of the tunnel. You're getting a handle on this. And things are starting to pick up. If this is your business, this is you starting to find balance. If this is where you work, this is you moving into your own feeling contented and happy with all that you are accomplishing here. For some of you, this may be a relationship going to the next step in August. You have the financial freedoms here. Business is picking up and maybe you're ready to make a move to have a proposal or move in with your significant other. Moving into September, you have this Three of Pentacles. You now have the clarity and the drive, all the knowledge you need. You're completely balanced. And this is the hard work. You know exactly what you need to do to succeed. To get where you're wanting to go. There is success here. You are being recognized for your efforts for your hard work. You have a very good drive to succeed. You have the knowledge and you are going to take it all the way to the top. Moving into October, you have the Three of Swords. There is something that is happening in your world that is giving you a, a deep sense of disappointment. This could be in love. For some of you, this will be in business. For others, this may even be a time of the holidays kicking off. And maybe you have lost a loved one around this time. And these memories bring up very sad emotions. Moving into November, you have the moon coming out of October with this disappointment. Something may not have gone your way and you're feeling a bit perplexed about where to go and how to move forward on this path. I do believe that you will continue moving forward. You will need to trust your intuition. To 
see this through. Do not be afraid of the unknown. And moving into December, you have the Nine of Wands. So this disappointment or this feeling of heartbreak is continuing to follow you throughout the holidays here. Again, this could be a time that you have lost a loved one. And these memories are brought up every year. I, too, have lost a loved one around the holidays, and they can be quite sad. For others who may have been suffering through a setback, or waiting to hear from some sort of news here, with this moon card. You are starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel. Things are becoming more clear and the waiting is almost over. hope. Your harvest is near. Next, let's clarify this with some oracle cards. In your tea leaves, the first card we get is Temporary Situation. I feel like this Three of Swords, this moon here, is letting you know that this is temporary. Things will be turning around for you. Even on the bottom of the deck for you, Aries, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a year of opportunity and growth for you in your career, in your business, financially. Even with the Ten of Cups and this Four of Wands here, you even have the potential to have your family expand, whether that's in engagements, marriages, children. This may even be grandchildren for some of you. That opportunity is there. Focus on all the good that is going on this year. And know that this unknown situation is completely temporary and will subside quickly. The next card that you get is the V for victory. There is an endeavor here, this opportunity that's coming. It will see you being very successful. Even with this dog barking, there may be a friend here that knows of an opportunity for you. And they're giving you advice. 
This could even be advice from a friend in this difficult situation you may be going through later on in the year. But know that even with this club card that you have, there may be someone trying to force you to take a different path or see things their way. Stand strong. Do not do anything against your will. Know that these situations are temporary and do not act out of fear. They are temporary. Next, let's get some Moon Oracle cards. Next, let's get some Moon Oracle cards. In your Moon Oracle cards, you have this Cardinal Moon, and it's telling you to be bold and make the first move. This is going to be in pursuing opportunities, but also heading off any situations that you see potentially popping up. Do what you can. Try not to worry about what you cannot change. If something is out of your power, just keep moving forward. Do not try to force the situation or self-sabotage so you have the illusion of control. The Moon Oracle cards are also telling you that nothing is going to come of this situation with this disappointment and this waiting and this unknowns here. Nothing is going to come of this situation. It's a void of course moon. These setbacks are temporary. You will be victorious. And even with this full moon in Cancer, this is telling you that these issues are reaching a resolution. Things will be moving to the past. You are going to find a solution and it will work in your favor. Next, we are going to pull a rune. This is the rune about growth. You are going to attain your goals this year. And that is going to require some changes. Stay positive in the face of these changes. They are going to help you reach your goals. They are going to put you on the path of success that you seek. setbacks that you 
come across will be temporary. You have this V for victory. This is your year. Go out there and make it happen. Thank you for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you, or you like this style of reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.